Alright, so guys, uh, welcome back. And what I got today for you is some information about uh, the the next upcoming month. And the plan is that I'm I'm gonna go on holiday for a whole entire month. Actually, in fact, it's I think it's five weeks anyway. So it's a long break, and I'll be taking a break from uh, gaming. I think uh, most probably um, because I won't have a computer there. Um, or oh, the computer might be too weak for any sort of gaming and also I can't actually connect to the EU server because I'll be in China and you know the pin there is like flipping 400 if you're trying to connect to Europe uh, what else do I have to say yeah I'm going back there and uh, hopefully I'm gonna do a vlog so showing you what like where I grew up maybe what, what sort of um, interesting things there are near my house Probably show you the air raid shelter next to my house. Uh, what is what what it is and uh, the history about it and how they build the shelter to uh, to survive nuclear war or airstrike with the Soviet Union. Um, so we see IS3 here. Oh, he misses, and I slam a shot in his angled plate. Notice that you don't shoot the plate on the other side because it would be stupid and the reason is he angled it so you shoot the one which is flattest to you the closest to 90 degrees well none of them are really close but you know the one closest uh... the, the thing with the IS-6 is that you can size grape the spaced armor on the side is one of the best tier 8 tanks with spaced and IS-3 I don't know what he's thinking about I just smash one into his cheeks uh, below the turret, and I pen him every day, you know, every day, 24-7. No shot on the T-32. I move up aggressively, and I didn't, the T-32 didn't really focus me, which is a bigger mistake, because, you know, he's gonna really gonna pay for this. So I'm going aggressive, thinking that, you know, I can take them two out, and my platoon mate, Tim Jing, is, uh, telling me to be careful. The IS, Luckily, penned me in the mantlet. He he penned me in the mantlet. All right, it's so ridiculous. He penned me there. Well, it's not the best armored place, but he did get lucky, and I I just didn't really have a high enough roll to kill the IS. And side scraping wise, I just wait for myself to reload, and IS bounced me again, and the IS refired foolishly. I don't know what he's trying to achieve there, so I don't need to hurry up because you know I know that reload. I get back in cover like that in time. The IS3 IS will just bounce every time. IS3 is foolish, foolish shoots my side again. Uh, I have to say, without idiots in the enemy team, this would never be achieved. 56% um, win ratio. This is good game. Now, as you can see, how brutal this tank can be. Now, why do I, why is the IS6 good? It's got one of the best armor premium tanks in the game. Uh, it's absolutely joy to sh to tank your tank it with your side armor, but the main problem is when they do pen you every time. It, uh, it's quite kind of frustrating because that's what you actually rely on to get close. Because you know you, your tank. The only good thing about it is uh, the fantastic armor on the side and front. I don't know what I'm trying to achieve there. Maybe trying to shoot his tracks off so he can't. Uh, what to waste time so I can jump back? He fired a bloody APCR at me. That flipping noob, 45% win guy with a whooping 300. If uh, win eight, strong players, totally strong. So I plant a shot into the SU. I know how long his reload is because I heard his sound. That 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 was definitely the stock gun reload. So I know I can have the time to shoot him again. And I will kill him, of course. Now, the, if the IS-3 doesn't, IS, if the IS-6 doesn't have a troll RNG, it's good. And what I'm trying to do is now is with 500 health, yeah, I can do something as crazy as this: kill the STI, destroy the Black Prince, and just watch this. 500 health, I can do this. I ignore the the uh, Black Prince, kill off the the guy with the best gun, angle my tank. But he still penned me. Now, what you gotta do is that think about this. You, I have a bad gun compared to uh, some other tanks. I won't really pen his frontal armor. His frontal armor is kind of uh, quite kind of well armored. So, 
what I need to do is to make sure I show I show his sign as long as possible. So what I do, you know, aim for the gear wheel, smashes smashes him, rams his tracks again, make it an even better angle for me, and he just can't pair me really. Now, it's it's just how devastating this thing is really. The black prince gets frustrated, shoots me in the tracks. I look away, looks back, and he bounces again. And the T the Super Persian just came here, and now I know I have to run because Super Persian penned me with gold. Now I'm kind of lucky here. He he managed to not kill me there. I tried to angle, but he still bloody planted the APCR into me. And I'm using this IS as, as meat shield. Why not? You know. Uh, luckily again, I'm here to kill Steel once more. Just when I'm about to shoot, the IS plants a shot into his side armor. Why is this Super Persian stupid? He showed his side armor, not his front. You don't show your side armor in Super Persian, it's like paper armor. It's a medium side armor, so it's not the best. Now, I'm left with 16 health. How many more kills do you think I can get? Uh, probably you, you already know because the title shows it. But, okay, artillery am I going to get to kill the scumbag? Now, I'm kind of tunnel vision here. I'm relying on my luck that the Tiger 2 won't hit me. And I angle just in time for them to, to not able to shoot me. Now, it will be a real disaster if they get close so I gotta shoot this guy before he gets really close and I'm trying to angle at the tiger too how stupid is he he's still not firing and he tracked me and I can take my time trying to kill him and T32 comes around I'm like okay I'm dead this time but why does he shoot at my frontal plate yeah when it's so well angled why don't he just drive forward and shoot my side you know he can just drive forward slightly or, or he can maybe still shoot my tracks at that position but you know he's retarded and that's why he lost the game and you know I just saw Tiger 2 more f at first because Tiger 2 is more dangerous and th with this gun if you do penetrate it does have an amazing damage output you know it's, it's good now that the T32 just I don't know what he's thinking about he was like looking around and he's dead now what a great game for me it's just such a satisfi satisfying game really now what I am to show you is that I'm going to show you uh, the after game stats and if you notice there the, the KV-1S which was at, at base alright if you look in the minimap right now you can see it says KV-1S where is it gone if you've paid attention yeah I looked back at this and I saw the, it says ally KV-1S lost in battle he must be one of those players who thought, oh, the game's over, let's press quit battle. And then his tanks blows up, so, you know, he's going to pay the repair bills on that, surely. I don't know why he's su in such a hurry to quit the game, but, you know, stupid players everywhere. And uh, the reason I don't, I don't I, I'm frustrated nowadays with World of Tanks is that every 10 seconds there's artillery shot landing on my engine left. It, it, it happens on every tank. I got one shotted by a flipping GW Tiger in my KV4 and on this map here, yeah, behind the church on my right hand side. I was 100% RT safe because, you know, I was on the other side of the church, which obviously is opposite of the uh, the enemy base. So I saw, you know, I'm in perfectly safe RT cover. And why would the a guy shoot a KV4 when he's got all the juicy, lightly armored tanks around me and he goes me. You know, games like that always happen, always will happen. And even before this game, I got hit by the artillery uh, on Lake Green. And that game was a first class. This game is a Mark Ace Tanker. Just two games in a row. Very good game. One was first class, this game, Ace Tanker. So let's take a look at the after game stats. So for those, for the the previous part of the video I record this in two parts and I forgot in the uh, actual gameplay I forgot to mention that um, if you send me your replays in for example Ray uh, from America if, if you're watching my video right now you're wondering why did why are you not showing my video you sent in so the reason is I've made it it's in my it's in my it's in my folder and I realized tomorrow I'm leaving so I don't have time to upload his video and the reason I'm, I, I'm uploading this one is because I just made it in fact right now and I need to put it up for all of you guys to know that why I'm gone you know otherwise you'll be wondering why is this guy not making videos for a month uh, well 
So also it's because I'm going on holiday now. Now, now you guys know. But if if I didn't tell you, maybe you wouldn't know. So um, that's why I don't have time to upload any other video except this one. In fact, not just race video in the folder. I have plenty of uh, f gameplays I recorded before my exams, and I still don't have time to put it up. For example, that Tiger DP, that Tiger Rally Walters game was like on my in my computer for like a month, and I still didn't. Well, I only just uploaded a few days ago. So let's look at the after games. That so uh, you can see I got Spartan Rally Walters, Top Gun, uh, High Caliber Steel Wall, and another medal. I can't remember what it was, but it doesn't display here. It's some in-game something. It's not an important medal, but some something else. Uh, some sort of achievement. So we can see we did uh, how many shots on the enemy. We did this guy two two module two critical damage, one one zero one one one. So pretty pretty extreme there. And what? Let's see uh, how well did I do in the team? Damage wise six thousand. Now six thousand. How fantastic is this? Yeah. If you have like six thousand damage per every game, you probably be the best. Player on the planet, I would say. Um, so I S six came, of course, top. The second guy who came second was uh, it was the eighty seven, the E twenty five, and I have to say I really had to carry this one to get a win. It was really difficult. The T thirty two on the enemy team did a good job, all right, but but. The thing was, he really did something really retarded, which I showed you in the video, and he cost, well, he, he lost the game, really. The enemy team, not any of them really did that well, to be honest. And on my team, super Persian, gotta do better. Super Persian, how can you get zero damage? Because if you think about it, you drive a super Persian up onto a battlefield, even if you get spotted, even if you get yourself into the world of shit, you will still have enough time to aim for some guy because you know you have some kind of armor enemy is gonna need time to aim for your weak spots so you will at least pump one shot into the enemy tank but apparently you can't and here's a great example of a tier 8 tank sucking out that that guy kb1 is zero kill zero damage su i can't believe they didn't do they did zero but you know they got punished because i won it and i killed their triple experience <laughs> which is good uh, the Yak Panda 4, uh, terrible as well. Um, other players I'm not going to mention that much, but you know, MS50 100, seriously 700, but probably he had a bad game. Uh, can't really say that much, but well done to this SU 100. He actually did fair amounts, you know, even for a tier 6 tank. And just check this out 72,000 credits. Now the the thing with the uh, IS six is that it costs a lot to re refill resupply the ammunition because one shot is like one thousand, and repair cost is quite uh, quite low and uh, because it's a premium and also auto re resupply is fairly cheap because it's on half price the other day, or oh, actually this day uh, today um, shot fire twenty three hits twenty two penetration twenty two. Now this game really didn't show you. Uh, the terrible moments when the IS-6 struggles to pen anything is just you can't penetrate anything. That that's just the worst thing it happens to the IS-6. But um, really, this game was kind of good. I really showed you just if you get the gun working, it's perfect tank. It's one of the best tanks you would play. Uh, it's got fantastic armor. I t I did six thousand one hundred fifty nine damage game. And 22 hits received, of which only 9 penalties uh, traded, 13 bounced. Uh, hits received res as a result of Splash Zero uh, uh, blocked 4,430. And just to tell you, uh, I have 1,000 something health, 1,400 1, maybe, I can't remember the exact number, but I have 1,000 something. And I think one, below 1,500, I think. Uh, but anyway, you can just imagine how devastating my armor really was. I, I managed to tank off 
four times my health, almost four times, well, three times, I would say, three point something, something. Uh, vehicle spotted two, enemy de destroyed eight, uh, enemy destroyed, damaged eight, destroyed eight. So all, all the tanks are damaged, I killed them. Oh, fairly, fairly good. I didn't, I kill steel, but I didn't really mean to kill steel. I really did just focus on the tanks I could uh, do damage on. It wasn't really a kill steel game. I never actually saw about kill stealing in this game. I just played it aggressively, and you can see the award was pretty good. Uh, the tank is absolutely fantastic. Do I recommend it? Hell yes. It's one of the best tier 8 premiums. Uh, never get yourself a super version because, you know, it's, it's terrible. It's slow. It's you get penetrated uh, because you know everyone knows where to shoot if they have a brain uh, you can't you can't really out, outclass the uh, enemies well even in the IS-6 you can't really outclass but the thing is the IS-6 has some funny armor and you can just shove in their face and just shoot them in the side like I did to that uh, Black Prince what can he do? not much um, so thanks for watching uh, thanks um, for your support and I'll be back in the next month uh, so that that's it then.